بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیر فرنڈز ان سیول انجنیئرنگ ایوری سیول انجنیئر شوڈ بی نو بیفور سٹارٹنگ ڈیزائن آر کنسٹرکشن آف این سٹرکچر دے شوڈ نو ایٹس ایڈوانٹیجز اینڈ ڈس ایڈوانٹیجز اینڈ آفٹر دیٹ دے شوڈ ڈیسائڈ وٹ از گڈ اینڈ وٹ از بیڈ فار یور سٹرکچر ایف یو ڈونٹ نو اینڈ ایف یو ڈونٹ اسٹڈی دا ایڈوانٹیجز اینڈ ڈس ایڈوانٹیجز اینڈ ایٹس پرپز آف any structure in civil engineering then it's not good for your project so therefore every civil engineer should be uh, should be research before starting any structure so it will be good for you people so therefore many students they are asking from me that sir if we don't provide plinth beam in building construction so what happen in future or if we provide so what's happen in future so every engineer should be know before starting any structure like plinth beam so therefore today topic is about plinth beam and its purposes if it has good advantages advantages then you should start if it's not helpful in building construction so after research you can decide then you should not provide okay so let's start guys what is plinth beam in building construction and why we provide or what's the purpose of plinth beam in about its steel reinforcement so this is the topic for today if this video is helpful for you so before starting the video or the lesson you must like this video and subscribe the channel if you are new with press bell icon to get notification for new updates as you can see guys plinth beam and its purposes our purpose so what is plinth beam if we know about plinth beam then we will we should know about its, its advantages okay so guys plinth beam is a reinforced concrete beam okay which constructed between the wall and foundation right for example guys this is wall so this is brick masonry means wall okay now this one is plinth beam okay so plinth beam is reinforced concrete beam so this is rcc reinforced cement concrete beam okay now as you can see this is foundation okay so this is foundation and this is wall so plinth beam is a reinforced beam which construct between the wall and foundation which is called plinth beam this is plinth beam okay so now what's the purpose of plinth beam so why we provide plinth beam right guys plinth beam provide purpose of plinth beam plinth beam provide to prevent the extension of cracks sometimes you can see the cracks in wall okay so why it become extension of cracks that's why because they didn't provide the plinth beam if they provided the plinth beam so maybe it become fail okay so failure of plinth beam is also the causes of extension of cracks in wall and from where the cracks become from foundation right so if the foundation is weak okay so it makes cracks so when we provide the plinth beam between foundation and wall so that plinth beam make protect the wall from the cracks so therefore we provide plinth beam to prevent the extension of cracks and wall from the foundation okay so the wall becomes safe from cracks when you provide plinth beam and plinth beam distribute the load of the wall the load of the wall to the foundation okay so it direct the rcc beam or plinth beam direct convert the load of this wall to the foundation so this is the other purpose and plinth beam also used to prevent the building from seepage right because in every foundation there are the presence of water so it make the wall from the 
uh, wall safe from the seepage okay if you uh, and um, many construction you can see the wall there are uh, on the wall uh, white powders uh, which is called efflorescence so that efflorescence is become from the seepage and from where seepage become to the wall from foundation so if you provide plinth beam in building construction so you will be safe from the seepage also from cracks and also one thing other on the uh, we should also provide on plinth beam polythene sheet okay reason is what seepage okay so it's also protect the seepage from plinth beam uh, from foundation okay so you should provide the pl uh, plastic or uh, polythene sheet okay now guys use of steel so use of steel uh, i recommend you and also this is uh, uh, very important for you people to know because sometimes uh, there isn't any design for plinth beam and many people they are using different diameter of steel bar and plinth beam but use 12 millimeter dia of steel at the bottom of the plinth beam use minimum 12 millimeter okay as you can see this is cross section of plinth beam so at the bottom you should use 12 millimeter minimum 12 mm die of steel bar right and plinth beam okay now use 10 millimeter die of steel bar at the top so at the top you should use 10 millimeter minimum and at the bottom you should use minimum 12 millimeter die of steel bar right now don't keep the depth of uh, plinth beam less than 20 centimeter so it should not be less than 20 centimeters minimum it should be 20 centimeter the depth of plinth beam if you if you don't have any design of plinth beam so there i recommend you you should use the given data okay and use 25 millimeter concrete cover this is concrete cover as you can see use 25 millimeter concrete cover and guys stirrups and plinth beam the spacing of stirrups should not be less than eight inches okay so these are some given data which i've discussed uh, use of steel in rcc slab also what is the purpose of rcc uh, rcc uh, plant beam okay so now you can decide is plant beam is important in building construction or not so these are some useful tips which i've discussed the front of you about plant beam and its purposes and why we provide plant beam in building construction so guys if you have any question about this video so you just comments i will try to reply your answer and next video thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye